Cats and berries, let's do it. Bark up the hag, it's Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. Ooh, Halloween. Scary, scary Halloween. Halloween, win, win. Goblins, ghosts, ghosts, and bears. What do you say, bears? I don't know the scariest Halloween. Ah. She's fragile. We have to support her. Oh, she's not that fragile, Lynn. What happened? What happened? Gail! Gail, what? honey, look, look, it's a fork! Look, what? it's a fork! Oh, it's a fork. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. She's killing me. Linda, I kissed your sister. I, I was on drugs that the dentist gave me, and I, I thought it was you, and now your sister thinks we're going steady or something. That is wonderful! You're, you're not upset? No, I'm not upset. Gail is finally feeling happier and healthier. And you want to give her whatever she needs, Bobby. Whatever she needs? What, what if she wants to have sex with me? Whatever she needs. Sex? Gail's always wanted whatever I had. I let her believe she was dating my high school boyfriend, Carl, for three years. Three years? And after she dated Carl, she had the confidence to go after Vinny. I'm totally lost. You're Carl! And eventually, she'll find herself another Vinny. Now go get cleaned up for dinner. You have to look nice. I know someone who likes you. Hey, Gail. I couldn't understand you on the phone earlier. You sounded like... <laughs> Is everything all right? Everything's fine. <laughs> he could just be such a jerk sometimes. Oh, who, honey? What? My cat. We got in a fight. Can I stay here for a while to cool off? Of course you can. Hey, Gail. Check it out. <laughs> okay, talk to you later. It was you, Lynn. It's been you all along. Say it. No, Bobby, no. It wasn't me. You were the only one who knew about the second turkey. It had to be you. I knew about the second turkey. What? Lynn? You know I tell Gail everything, Bobby. She's my sister. It's true. I know everything. Like the time you peed in the theater during Jerry Maguire. I didn't want to miss any of it. A one, two, three, four. A ding, a ding. Oh, what's that sound? It's the gravy boat. A a coming, coming around. It's not a navy boat. It's the gravy boat. Filled with bravery, savory, sailor folk. Sailors in your mouth. Sailors in your mouth. That's what they give it. She always loved this band, and she's my sister. Now, back when this was just for fun, when it was just us girls, there was someone who I loved to sing with more than anyone else, and that's my sister, Gail. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all you guys. This Tata's been a real boob. So, uh, our first song is by Gail. Let's hear it for her. Gail! <gasps> really? Yes. Oh, God, Linda, thank you so much. My sword. Gail, get up here quick while I got them warmed up. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Okay, Let's go. Okay, Let's Let's go. Yeah, I, I know, hon. I called you. Oh, okay. Listen, have you seen Louise? Yeah, she's here at my place. Oh, thank God. Bob, she's at Gail's. Yeah, it's that scheduled visit I didn't know about. She ran away, Gail. <gasps> oh, my. Where'd she go? She's at your house, hon. Oh, right, right. She's afraid of the dentist. She got a cavity and she doesn't want to get a filling. Well, who does? Okay, well, uh, we'll come pick her up, but don't tell her or she'll run. Oh, good thinking, Lynn. You're the smart one, I'm the hot one. No. I'm coming out! <sighs> Where do you keep your wine? Where's your wine, hon? I don't have any. What? Beer? No. How do you relax? I don't. Right, right. Of course not. Gail, I didn't bring the eye drops into the store so you can take the shower curtain off. But I don't have any makeup on. What if there are hot guys here? Good point. But what if they're the kind of hot guys who are afraid of shower curtains? Okay, I'll take it off. Oh, and take off your glasses, too. Let them really see you, that beautiful face. Okay. Oh, weird, look at that. Someone must have let go of a balloon and it floated to the ceiling. Huh? Help! Ah! Help! Murder! Murder! Ah! Pop! Pop! 
Wake up! I need you to hold Gaz's arms down so I can get this over with her or so I'm gonna kill her! Bob? What? Huh! Hello? Well, where the hell are they? Linda, have you been lying to me about being married and having kids? Your mom's not picking up her phone. Um, let me try Aunt Gail. Hi, Gail, it's Bob. Uh, have you heard from Linda today? Yes, I know it's her birthday, Gail. I just don't know where she is. What? Uh, yeah. uh, calm down, Gail. Uh, I'm sure she's fine. Gail, pull yourself. Gail. Gail! Gail! Oh, my God, there she is. Hi, Linda. Uh, Gail, she just walked in. She's fine. She looks great. Call you back later. Bye. You know Mom's not really here, right? Yes, Tina. Because you said she was. you saw her. I know, but I was... forget it. You're lying. All right, yes. And we'll settle this. Unless you're scared. I'm not scared. Pew pew. Don't you pew pew me. I pew pew you. Pew pew. A pew pew. Pew 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 This is my favorite part of the show so far. It wasn't Delta Burke? I guess not. What a journey. You know what? I think Stacy is jealous. And I think it was Delta Burke. And it was you that Delta winked at. Aw, you do? Yeah, I do. And you shouldn't change a thing in your show. I mean, you could take some cuts. Stina. Oh, Lynn, thank you. Hey, I got something for you. Pew, pew. Uh, right back at ya. Pew, pew. It's not just a standing, Linda. I thought I was gonna be a protector of art. Guarding it from art thieves and people who lick sculptures. People lick sculptures? Of course they do. Grow up, Linda. Oh, I, I, what the hell is wrong with this world? But look around. It's boring here. Gail, give it another day. And if you still hate it after that day, you give it another day. And you keep going like that forever. That's what working is. Linda, no! But it's not all bad. They pay you and you get to go home after and say, what a day, and drink. That does sound nice. That a girl. Now stand in the place where you work. Okay. Oh, wait, that's a lady. She's wearing all white. Oh. Oh, no, wait, it's a statue. Oh, no, she moved. Oh. Do statues move? Gil, Gil, what else? What else, honey? Well, there's a guy in the next gallery. He comes here every day and stares at this one painting. Every day? Gail, you think nothing happens there. You're wrong. That guy, he's, uh, casing the joint. He wants that painting. What? What's he look like? Describe him. Good looking, but not too good looking. Like the planter's peanut. Sounds like he doesn't want to draw attention to himself. He's that good. You gotta watch him. You might just stop the biggest art heist in history. <gasps> you think so? I know so. Now I'm gonna check back in with you at the end of your shift. I want a full report. Okay, call me every ten minutes. No, at the end of your... Oh, Gail, Gail, I gotta go. You hear that? That's why I'm the world's greatest sister. Oh, they all left. Bob's Burgess! Linda, the eagle has landed. The hawk is in the hamper. What? What What are you talking about? I got the bastard. You what? The art thief. I got him in custody. Gil, Gil, where are you? The interrogation room. What? They have one of those at the art museum? Mm-hmm. It's also the employee bathroom. Oh, my God, Gil! Don't do anything. I'm coming over there. Don't do anything. Bob, if I'm not back soon, it's because I'm on the lam with Gail. Okay, sounds good. I'm sorry I got you riled up. I was trying to help. I didn't think you were going to kidnap a guy. You should always think I'm going to kidnap a guy. I know. You're right. Lynn, I tried selling oil. I tried it. I got it over my head. I bought the distributor package. I couldn't sell any of it. It's on my credit card for the rest of my life. Gil, none of that surprises me, okay? But that's not going to happen to me. All of you, go home now. <laughs> If you come back in here, you're grounded. You too, Gail. When Gail came into that coffee shop and started yelling, she was so uninhibited. It was inspiring. She's inspiring. And scary. Scary and inspiring. You know what? She is. She really is. I'm sorry I said all that stuff, Gail, that I didn't believe in you and your yurty workshop. It's okay, Linda. I know it's hard for you being the non-hot one. Right, yeah. Hey, Gail! Linda, is it dangerous to eat a tangerine with a carrot? They're both orange. It's fine. I've done it many a time. Okay, bye. Oh, that was Gail. Did she want to know if it was okay to combine something with something else? Yeah, orange foods. It's okay, right? Hello? Linda, did you know you could wear a turtleneck as pants? I don't have time for this right now, Gail. You just need a safety pin for the middle. Oh, Gail, I gotta go. No. Gail! Over here! Gail! I came as fast as I could. I didn't even change. Look, turtle pants. Gail, you gotta step on it. Well, I'll tell you what. If you get a ticket, I'll pay for it. You will? That's fine. I like going fast. Should I keep my eyes open? Yes, keep your eyes open. 
I mean, it's not a big deal if you think about it. Sometimes parents got to tell little fibs to their little kids because they're too little to hear the truth, you know? Uh-huh. Do you think my car likes me? It's like mom and dad and your immortal goldfish. Like how they would replace your goldfish every time it died. What? I mean, uh, nothing. Let's uh, talk about your car liking you. I think it does. My beloved goldfish lived 18 years with me before getting sent to the National Aquarium to be studied and to relax. Uh, right, yeah. No, no, I know. Forget I said anything. Are you telling me mom and Dad lied to me? Are you telling me Goldilicious isn't immortal and doesn't see the birthday cards I send her every year? What? No, no, come on. I cannot believe this. Gail, Gail, where are you going? I will not let you pull a Goldilicious on your kids. Gail. Hey, maybe we should have Lorraine and Nico over for dinner sometime. We owe them some chicken. Okay, fine. But then we can prank them. Yeah, I'm going to fork in my sock. Fork both of them when they're not looking. That's a fun joke. Yeah, yeah. Never cross these women! Uh, Gail got a new couch because the old one smelled like cat pee because she let the cats pee on it. And the Goodwill only had a fold out and now she's worried it's going to eat her. And you're just going to let that couch eat your sister, Mom? Would you let a couch eat Jean? I worry you would. Well, I may as well call Gail and make sure her couch didn't eat her. Hey, it's me. How's it going? No, Gail, don't, don't glue your couch shut. I know what we could do. Linda, remember when we were little and we used to prank call places and say, is there a John here? A big John? Because we have diarrhea. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did used to do that. I forgot. We have to promise each other to never speak of this again. We'll, we'll never, never speak, speak of, of this, this again. again. My life coach, Dane Kang, says you have to confront your past. So you can either hide your head in your butt or you can come with me and we face this together. Also, my license is suspended because I let my cat drive a little bit. So I need a ride. Gail, what are you doing here? Did you follow me? I always follow you. You should turn around more often. We should pay Marty DeVluzio Clyde a little visit. See if he sent us those letters. I heard he's living at his mom's old house. Because he murdered her? No, she moved to Florida. Because she murdered someone? No, not everyone murders someone, Gail. That's not true. I'd offer you something to eat, but we only have dog treats. I'll try a dog treat. Gail, no. Well, why did you bring me into all this? Gail talks about you a lot. No, not that much. Maybe once. We've had one session, and I feel like I've known you all my life. Though I expected you to be older and very ugly. Okay, you're both mad at me, and you should be mad at me. I was so focused on my other friend coming over that I didn't see the friends that were right in front of my dumb face. And I made you feel bad. And I'm sorry. Gretchen, you were a great friend. And, and Gail, you were a great sister. But am I also your friend? Gail, what? Yes. Just because I love Ginger and I love to spend time with her alone doesn't mean you're not special to me, too. You and I have something I'll never have with her. With family. And there's no stronger bond than family. Except maybe if someone gives you a kidney. Or an eye. Who's oh, spooky? Aw, oh, Linda, I take your eye. That one. <gasps> Linda, I wish you would have just told me that you were going to win that pumpkin carving contest. I know. But I guess sometimes I don't tell you good stuff that happens to me because I don't want to, you know, rub it in. When good things happen to you, it does make me happy. Is this just because sometimes I fly into violent rages of jealousy and cry in the closet until I throw up? Yeah, maybe. Well, I still want to know what's happening in your life. I love you. You're my sister and my best friend and my arch nemesis. I love you too, Gail. Also, my pumpkin was way better than yours. Mr. Rosenthal's stupid. Oh, speaking of pumpkins, look at those. They're good. Too good. I want to go smash them. Hell no. <laughs>